All right, you ready to factor? I am. All right, I see a GCF in the numerator. Never overlook your GCFs. Three and then x squared plus seven x plus 12. And we're gonna factor that denominator. So x plus four, x minus three. And then three, let's continue factoring that numerator. Hopefully something will cancel. Boy, I sure hope so. It'd be a tragedy if this one didn't have a hole in the graph. Hmm. Three, four, oh, it does. It's magical. Okay, we have canceled those, we are ready. Three and then x plus three over x minus three. If you wanna get a little crazy with it, you could say, this is true where x is not equal to negative four. Could have done that on the last one. Be like, that's fine, but only as long as x is not equal to the four. That's fine. You don't have to put that. I mean, you can, but let's not get too picky. All right, let's find everything. X intercept, y intercept. Holes in the graph. Vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, yeah. All right, let's draw vertical lines, and we're going to do this. We're going to sing it like that. It's not annoying at all, right? Okay, it is reduced first, so we're ready to go. What we're going to do is say 0 equals, I would say all that stuff, but we just found a shortcut where it's really just the numerator. And you want to get technical, you divide by 3, Cancel, cancel, zero equals just that factor, so x equals negative three. Yay, we now have an x-intercept. Let's find the y-intercept. y equals, use the reduced form, three, zero plus three, over zero minus three. It's gonna give me three times three, that's nine, over negative three. That means my y-intercept is going to be negative three. Covered up that spot on the paper. So y equals negative three. You want a shortcut on this one too? Of course you do. Cover up all your x's. What's 36 divided by negative 12? Exactly, negative three. Look up here. What, <laughs> you better look up here. What's negative 25 divided by negative 20? Positive 5 fourths. You're welcome. Okay, holes occur where you canceled something out where it equals zero, so it's at negative four comma something. We don't know what that something is, so let's find it. What we're gonna do is plug in negative four into what remains. So we're gonna have three and then negative four plus three over negative four minus three, and that's gonna give us craziness. We're gonna have negative seven in the denominator. The numerator is gonna be um, negative one times three, so negative three. Negative three over negative seven, so three sevenths. Let's plot the non-point. Negative four, and then just all about halfway up. Negative four, and then eh, kind of halfway, but not quite. The vertical asymptote is where your denominator equals zero. The horizontal asymptote is, and, and we can actually go all the way back to the beginning. You can use this if you want to, but I'm going to go back to the beginning. Do the, do the numerator and denominator have the same degree? The numerator has a degree of two. The denominator has a degree of two. What's three divided by one? Three. It is a horizontal line, y equals three. All right, we have a vertical line at x equals three. We have a horizontal line at y equals three. And we're gonna draw this. It's a fun one, isn't it? Now, how close does it get? Very close. How soon does it get that close? Don't be picky about it. If you can find the stuff, you're good. There we go. And then there's something that happens way yonder up here, and maybe that hugs too close. It probably does. Those points are not going to be accurate, but we have the general shape. All right, discontinuity time. As we travel from left to right, we'd go blip right here. That's kind of messed up in its contour, but whatever. So there is a removable discontinuity at x equals, okay, where is that? Well, that's the hole, so it's at negative four. And then we keep graphing and we go, oh, major course correction. When you had to lift your pen and like do a course correction, that is non, non removable discontinuity at x equals, that's the vertical asymptote, three. 